there it goes. Hey everybody, welcome to our track challenge. My name is Ben underscore Burns. Today we're going to be writing a song in two hours or less. I have had a hell of a week. Um, if you watched last episode, which I did 10 days ago now at this point, um, I have been doing a remodel of like the main level of the house and it is starting to get to me a little bit. Um, I have been dealing with paint fumes today and a bunch of other stuff, so I don't know how today's going to go, but uh, this is the last day of the week for me to continue doing my st song a week thing, so uh, just, we'll just get going and see what happens. Um, so yeah, expect a low energy stream this time around, and uh, everybody, will, everybody will be happy, right? I don't know what's going to happen. I just want to sit down and make some bloops. Like, I seriously haven't written a song since, like, ten days ago. And that sucks. Sometimes you just gotta make a bloop. And, uh, we'll go with that. Like, I, I, this is, like, totally not my stream time. Um, and... I don't know who's gonna show up, if anybody, so this'll just be me talking to myself. Which is... Which is fine, too. I have a thought of what I want to do, but man, these kicks are actually this one will be okay. So, having spent a lot of time in the basement over the last two weeks, uh, because that's really the only place where we uh, are able to keep the cats, I've been watching a lot of movies. And um, one movie I watched recently, and I'd seen it before, um, was Dread, and like. Damn, that was a good movie. Considering it came out 10 years ago now. It came out in um, 2012. <clears throat> and, like, the music in it was, like, super, like, minimal. But it was really, really nice. So I wanted to try... This is basically, like, most of the soundtrack for the for the movie. Where it's just, like... Four, it's just a four by four kick with this like baseline going on and off every couple bars. And like, for some reason that was super compelling to me. And I wanted to see if I could make something interesting out of this. Um, so I wanted to give it a try. Um, again, like I, uh, this is going to be a, a real chaos stream. Cause I, I have no idea where things are going to go. Um, but I wanted to at least try to make a song. Um, because I don't know when I'll get another chance to. Um, because, and I was talking about this on the Discord, like, I need to finish this song today so I can do the sample slicing for next week's two-hour track challenge. So yeah, I'm looking for something like really tense and muted. And I think we're going in the right direction here. We just got to figure it out. Um, but I, uh, I'm just, I'm just on the, I'm just struggling. I knew this month was going to be hard, but I didn't know it was going to be this hard. I don't know why it has that click there. There we go. And that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted to have this um, evolution to the sound. So you can start here and then this knob will... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, like, I like the idea of just making something, like, really kind of minimal and a little uh, oppressive. And uh, we'll see how that goes. But, oh, man, I haven't I haven't done a whole lot of music. So it's, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get back into... <laughs> 
into the swing of things. Actually, let's do this. Yeah. This is low cut off all that bass, so we're not we're not uh, really screwing around with that bass a whole lot. Um, and then maybe we can throw a saturator on here too, just to actually we can probably throw a saturator inside of pigments. Um, I imagine this has some kind of like yeah overdrive. So what we can do is we can run with this macro again and just do like this. So now we can have this. Maybe a little too hard on that, but. Cool. I'm trying to get more comfortable with pigments uh, because it's so powerful and I just love how it sounds. Um, but. It's it's uh it's some work. <laughs> um Pigments one point five. Is that what I have or are you talking about like an update? I don't even know what I have. I have three point oh apparently. Pigments is really good though. Like I'm pretty, I'm pretty, oh, cool. That's good, to, that's good to know. Um, so, like I said, the, the Dread soundtrack, it really started, oh, 3.5, okay, that makes more sense. Um, it really has this kind of just oppressive minimalism to it, and, like, I should really go, like, on Spotify or somewhere and, and find the actual songs, because they are there it's there's a lot of this and it's just like it fits the movie so well too much stardew so i'm thinking we can take some other stuff here and uh like as far as an intro to the song i think this works really well so let's let's bring this out like this um and where is that macro knob we can take this macro knob and just crank it as we, uh, oh my God, there we go. Um, okay. So what I need to do is I need to find some of the, uh, stuff. I just recorded some stuff this morning, like drop plastic. Yeah. I think some of this would be really cool. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this on a uh, auto pan. Yeah, how is Stardew these days? I know that they've been updating it so much. Hey, Jank. How are you? weird actually let's not stretch this out then cold how goes the music work well I just started so I don't have a whole lot yet I was talking remember to save about remembering to save I, I was talking about um, just being stuck in the basement and listening to or watching a lot of movies. And one of the one of the movies that I watched recently was the that was Dread. And it had this really cool minimal like house um, soundtrack to it. And it was kind of inspiring and I wanted to give it a try. Um, I'm glad they're continuing to add more to Stardew like that. That's a really 
I'm glad that the devs are sticking up with it. So my thought is we can have this like really kind of oppressive build and then we can go back to this and then we can like include other stuff later on. Yeah, and Minimal House thankfully is not terribly complicated. <laughs> so um, like I, I mentioned this at the start of the stream, but they just painted. So even though I have a window open, I don't have it open very um far because it's also super cold out but there's like a ton of paint fumes going on and all this other stuff so i'm just like i'm doing doing my best So I kind of like this. It's the super massive's a little loud though. So we can continue like doing some build up here, but I kind of like where we're going with this. Yeah, I feel like I need to trim these back a little bit more and I do like this before there yeah and that's that's kind of what I'm thinking like I, I really considering the stress that I've been under this uh month like my goal is to just keep things chill <laughs> and just like deal with what I have Um, so. I think this needs, like, another layer to it, though. So, this will be... There we go. I'm starting to get the hang of pigments a little bit, which is nice. Um, although why is that all the way up? Oh, because, you yeah.
Okay, so now we just need to add a couple other things. Um, I'm not going to do the voice beatbox stuff on this one because it doesn't really fit. Um, some weird kind of leg. Oh man, is my oh fuck. Well, hopefully it's stabilized. Yeah, apparently I've dropped 15,000 frames. Well, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start recording locally, I guess. And then I'll just salvage whatever I can from Twitch. And if it sucks, then at least we have a song. Internet is crap today, apparently. Just enjoy the audio. So, yeah. I'll do what I can. Hopefully the, the YouTube version will be better, but it'll be super fun to splice together. Okay. So I, I like that intro. I feel like it could use a little bit more uh, beef to it, but I want to... These aren't what I'm looking for. An amp simulator? Oh, that's not a bad idea. I don't know if this is going to work. I just wanted to grab some different hats because I think putting a bunch of uh, sounds in here would sound really neat. But these sounds in particular might not be the, the right ones. Actually, that works really well. that yeah I can I can see like in the effects for pigments if there's an amp it looks like the internet's a little more stable now so hopefully it stays that way doesn't look like there's an amp thing in there but I do see a bit crusher which I think would be kind of cool Uh, once we get to like yeah so you can put the macro on this too um, I think really what this needs is it just needs another layer of something else So need, we need like an open hat or like a ride symbol. 
And honestly, like if if this stream ends up being just an hour long or something and we make kind of a cool Terminator-esque kind of tense minimal song, I'm okay with that. Like I don't I don't want to sound like I, I kind of feel like half assing it today, but sometimes your one hundred percent is is a lot less than other days and um you know I'll I'll make it work with whatever I got, but I uh I would prefer to um you know just try to survive. We should mess with the panning on these two. Not like a ton, but I think that that would be pretty cool. Okay, so we need some kind of like structure to this song. beyond just, you know, kick snare. Actually, we don't even have a snare yet. This song has not evolved into that. Um, it looks like the internet's stabilized now. I'm going to keep recording, but... It's uh It's just a little bit of everything today, huh? You just got to get all the Just got to get all the issues. So I think that this would also benefit from a real quick burst of like noise. That might be too loud. Yeah. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm layering a, a bit of noise onto this. So instead of like putting like uh, mirroring this pattern with a hat or something, which would do the same thing. I just have that on there, so that transient is really like... Tick, tick, tick. Something I don't do very often, but I should. sign four yeah I like that better cool okay so again we're we're going to lean on the minimalism I think and see if we can kind of just build an atmosphere through that remember to save hey everybody remember to save
again, I'm just throwing random notes on here right now just to see if we can get, this is more about the texture than the, than the notes. Once you get the texture, then you can get the notes. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So we can, again, like with any kind of traditional electronic music, we can break this into four bar chunks or eight bar chunks or whatever, and then just kind of continue to build things out um, through that. And as long as we're continuing to evolve the sound through this, like if this were a movie piece, we wouldn't really have to. Um, but seeing as this is not going into a movie yet, um, <laughs> it's high aspirations there, huh? Um, like I should probably work on some kind of like a lead or something else just to, uh, ensure that things stay a little interesting. Yeah. Um, so what kind of what kind of vibe are we going for here? Like, is this like a pursuit kind of song, or is this like a tension kind of song? Because like, you can kind of go two ways right now with where we where we're at, and I think finding kind of that uh, kind of that uh, the spirit, the soul of the song, as I guess I've said in the past. Um, would actually help quite a bit. Or, this patch is called Incubation. Like... That was a... I was gonna say that was a typo, but <laughs> I kinda like it. Apparently my, my timing's all off. That's what you get for breathing paint fumes all day.
Okay, actually, that's my heck up. Um, <laughs> hey, Toxic. How are you? Thank you so much for the resub. I really do appreciate that. Um, I hope that you're having fantastic. I got it. It's Saturday already. Like, time ceased to have any sort of meaning to me about four days ago. Song's going okay. Um, we are making some kind of like minimal sci-fi tension house music, apparently. So that's a really good idea. I, I, I hadn't have thought of that. Uh, I need, I need the most Chad snare ever made. You'll hear what I mean in a second. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's perfect. My perfect baby. Um, yeah, I don't know what we would do with VST speak, but I'd like that idea. Like, I don't know. This this song might... My mouse just got possessed. Uh, this song might work well with, um, like, lyrics. Piano for elegant people. That's me. You lied to me. That's gonna that's gonna wreck my computer. Uh, I'm gonna find a different thing. Um, yeah, like I I think that we just need like if we do lyrics, like I'm totally down for that. I just don't know what we would do. Um, because VST speak works best when you have like that's a lead baby 
Shit, that's loud. Actually, change of plans, my dudes. Um, is this velocity sensitive? Nope. Gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. That's actually a really cool bass, though. It is perfect for chill music, if you know what you're doing. You can go like this. This is this is kind of what I was talking about with where I was ta saying like, oh, I need more. I need more juice on this bass. I need a juicy bass. This is going, okay, so that doesn't go from negative infinity to, yeah, that's my bad. My, I'm sorry, guys. Just give me a sec. There we go. My computer is not enjoying uh, this experience, though. I really need a new computer. When's Bitcoin going to stop being a thing so I can get a new computer? Like a year or two? Okay, so I'm going to freeze some of these tracks, um, but I should be able to copy paste them pretty easily. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to go in here and I want to change the ADSR on the sample so I can shorten the release time um, because it's really long. It's time for a new computer because... Now, nah, USB always kind of sucks. Oops. You can't you can't escape that. And to be perfectly fair, I could probably survive with the computer I have or the this GPU that I have um and just upgrade literally everything else. Yeah, but Thunderbolt sucks because it's Mac. <laughs> That's biased of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> um like, isn't Thunderbolt just USB-C but worse at this point? Like, it used to be super powerful. Like, I'll, I'll concede that. Um, but these days, it's just... Um, all the... It, it's all the benefits of uh, USB-C but with all the annoying parts of Apple. Um, I might be wrong, though. Please don't unsubscribe. I need your dollar. Um... <laughs> so uh yeah I'm, I'm trying to think of like a couple things we can do see the thing we can use vst speak but we need to, to save we need to remember to save but um we also need to like figure out oops that's so loud yeah, we need to figure out what we want to do with this song before we start, like... Are these even, like, configurable? Nope. <laughs> Hello, world. Yeah, I apologize that that's so loud. Um, but yeah, we need we need to figure out like some kind of story before I throw this in here. 
And we don't have to use it, but it's definitely something I wouldn't mind messing with. In the meantime, we just need to figure out what like the point of this song is, like what, what it's doing. What is eating up all my CPU? Really? It's the one note site, one note I play every seven seconds. Seven to pull safety protocols. Yeah, and that's, I mean, this is really why I need a new computer because this kind of stuff really slows me down. And it's all CPU and RAM related more than anything else. So it's like, I don't need to buy a new CPU or a new GPU. I just really want, uh, see, I never played Alien Isolation. I heard it was very good though. Is this off? Oh yeah, it is. Now you're in tune, little guy. So where are we going? What are we doing? Now we need an actual snare. I like how this is evolving. Um, we just need stuff to happen now. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of just like just that, like, just oppressive, like, bass. Nah, that's too, that's too much. I don't I don't think VST speak is the right call for this one. Um 
like if it if it was going to be a, a a VST speak, it would be like an I've got tech situation, um, where it would be like narrating something uh, instead of like some kind of uh, diegetic video gamey kind of thing, which you know isn't a bad thing, but I don't think it really at least it doesn't fit my vision on this, and I'm I don't know I'm I don't really have a, a fully formed vision on this yet, but. I probably should soon. Just that constant oppressive bass. Okay, so we need a couple more like um, drum layers. I mean, this is in tune, so you got to use it. But we need we need like more just like noise, you know? We just need stuff to fill in space. I mean, <laughs> should I just want to, I'm kind of curious if I just threw I've got the the I've got tech in here, just to see what happens. Did I do that this year? I could have sworn I did that this year. Yeah, it was like the second song I made this year. I'm not gonna keep this. But I'm just kind of curious, like, yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't line up when it comes to the rest of this, but, um, <laughs> yeah, it works fine. <laughs> It, it was really corny, but it's also, like, really good. <laughs> it's good in the worst kind of way. I got a text from my dad. Just hold on a sec. Okay. It is corny, but like, that's kind of the vibe I want to, if I add lyrics, that's kind of the vibe I want to go for. But I don't even know if this needs lyrics. Like, I like the idea of this being like... <laughs> hey, Twiggly. <laughs> How are you? Thinking we can like a 
Oh, that sounds nice. try that again um Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure where we're going with like a melody on this, but I think we do need some kind of like progression of some sort. Um, and again, like I'm sticking with really basic waveforms because I'm not really fully sure what I want to do with the rest of it. But the idea of keeping this really minimal is is vibing with me. Um, I just don't really know. That's too loud. But I can fix that later. Um... I just don't I don't know like what this song is about like it's it's really cool and really oppressive and really minimal which are all uh tenets of things that I like in a song but like I don't really have a um I don't really have a goal for this song right now This needs um, some multiband dynamics. Yeah. Get rid of all this crap. That's too much. The problem with compression, the problem with compression is if you do too much of it, you will just heck up your whole song and it happens so fast, uh, especially with stuff like piano. If you over compress a piano, it just, it just sounds terrible. Um, so it's real easy for that to happen. And I'm trying to avoid it as much as I can, um, but it's not easy. So, remember to save. First of all, remember to save your dang work. I should take my own advice. I haven't saved this yet. What do we call this song? What do we call this song? I mean, one of the... I think this one's called Incubator. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think this instrument was called Incubator. Which, like, is kind of a cool sci-fi, um... Yeah, we might call this song Incubator. Nah, that's too many words. 
<laughs> Song like this, it's minimal. You know, you have to embrace the minimalism. I already did that with an, <laughs> what was it? A pretentious exploration of minimal house music? Just repeating myself now. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the thing I'm trying to avoid, but I definitely wanted to make fun of that with that house music song, where it's just like most most um, minimal house songs are like M-N-M-L. Do you get it? It's a minimal house song, except I removed all the vowels. Well, that sounded bad. <laughs> That's actually funny. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay, so this is more of a lead than a... I think it works really well. I, yeah, I think I'm going to call this song Incubator. Like, I do like I do like the meta discussion about all this other stuff, but I also am starting to feel like, oh, I should really save this song at some point. God, it's the 18th already. I mean, heck, I called a song Fragility because a random person followed the stream named Fragility right before I started streaming. And, uh... I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm not picky. Plus, I think it fits this song pretty well. So I'm going to make the mistake of putting another Pigments in here. Because I really want a Super Saw. Yeah. Too Stupid to Use is my middle name. Um, this isn't really going to be a pad either, but um, I just like the idea of just going like... And just like jamming out some chords just to help um, give this a little bit more structure. Nope, I keep clicking on the wrong thing with this stuff. It's the wrong chord progression for something like this. Um, and also I uh, muted all of the all of the good stuff. 
And this thing really has a tail, doesn't it? Is it the super massive? Let's bring that back a little bit. Let's go like this. Yeah, that's more that's more what I want. Okay, so we're going... So it'd be... Oh, it's the same chord progression I use for literally everything else I ever write. Who would have thought? Oh, this is the... I didn't know that you could actually... <laughs> I didn't know that you could actually do that, that it was like MIDI controllable. I just delete the thing I wanted to keep? Nope, okay. Yeah, I'm taking a little brain break. Thank you, Twiggly. Now I'm doing it for money. Fake money, anyway. It's okay, Twig. Twig. Twiggly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we're that uh, informal yet, you know. Why? What about just tea? <laughs> T <laughs> oh, where's this song going? Tea wiggles. Now I think that's a step too far. I think we'd have to be like married for me to say that and not feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, it, it, it's, it's like a familial thing. You'd have to be like siblings. You'd have to grow up together, you know? Only blood relatives can call me T-Wiggles. I appreciate the laughs. I really need it. Like this this needs a little bit more substance in here, but I like the idea of breaking this down a little bit. Oops. Yeah. It's weird that that's how that's expressing itself. Um, So I think what I want to do is I want to take these and I want to scoot them over a little bit so we can kind of get like a reprise of um, the start of the song. Because, you know, it's like poetry. It rhymes. Isn't that the, the meme? <laughs> Um, exactly. Remember, Remember to, to save. save. Hello, everybody. Remember to save your progress. Or you'll be sad. Because I'm going to find you. Wait, no, what? Um, I'm just going to get rid of that for now. 
I don't know why this has such a long tail to it. Maybe it's the multiband dynamics just really just cranking it just so it stays. But like, I didn't think that this, because the feedback is so low. Like you listen to this. Yeah, it's the multiband dynamics. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just like. That's not the right note. That shouldn't be it either, though. Yeah, I guess that's it. And we want to even these out, so let's go like this. What is happening with this automation? That's why it sounds so weird. So yeah, it's a pretty good breakdown, and it, it kind of leads into some other stuff, which is also great. Um, I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it this way. Right? Yeah. Hey, Speaks. What now? I need your phone. My phone? I'm going to take how do I take picture? Yeah. Did something break or? Okay. A lot going on. little too much for that but we can like create another layer here I think that would work really well why does this have so much stuff did I oh because I duplicated it yeah that makes sense what's going on well there's a bunch of white stuff all around the sink in the bathroom now the sink is draining real nice and slow. The hell? So I'm sure he mixed something. Yeah. I'm so I'm taking photos. Yep. For posterity. Yeah, we'll talk to him about that, like, because he probably knocked stuff off the walls when he was sanding, or maybe it just got everywhere. Oh no, he used he used he used something because there was the rim oh, of a bucket. Oh, okay. He used the bathroom. But there's, he splashed something. There's fucking water everywhere, and it's all now white. Ugh, okay. So, it's something. Okay, well, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. We'll figure it out. 
Yeah, this the guy we're working with is uh, real hit and miss. That's putting it kindly. I'm just trying to trying to keep my cool about all of this because like it's not like we can find somebody else to do it because other people are showing up in like two days to do other parts of the project yeah it's exactly i can't unfortunately <laughs> because i'd have to do the rest myself and i don't have the time equipment or skills to do it um and i have another team coming in on monday to actually install everything so yeah but we'll definitely not be working with him again. Maybe, I don't know. Probably not, I don't know. It's just frustrating. He's already a day over as well. He was supposed to be done yesterday. So I think we can do like another bigger instrument here. And like, I, I get not to get big on the topic of like the whole process of this, but it's just like, he's trying to start a company and he's like, he's working to get things done. And like, I get that, but it's also like, I have been um, probably not as uh, direct as I probably should have been. And I'm, I'm definitely going to talk after the project's done, just like give a recap of all of it, but just like, you know, this is, this is how things should work. But yeah, we're definitely going to ask about the sink. I don't know what's going on with the sink, but clearly somebody used it to wash something that they shouldn't have. And now there's like just crap everywhere in there. So that's frustrating. I believe in you.
I almost feel like this section should be longer. Oh, we definitely don't need that. I think this section should be longer. Because I actually really like this. I'm going to add, like, a couple other little flourishes in there just to keep it interesting, but, um, something like this. Take care, Toxic. Have a good one. Cats are trying to escape, it sounds like. I just I just can't wait for this whole frickin' remodel to be done. Like, I've been stuck in a basement literally for two weeks now. This is the first time I've used my computer in a week. I knew it was going to be a pain. Like, it's just, I thought that, you know, part of the reason people pay other people to do this is so you don't have to deal with all of the kind of garbage that comes with it. And it's just like, I have had nothing but problems throughout this whole process, whether it comes to supply chain or to like working with people. And it's just like every single thing is just being more difficult than it should be, especially considering how big of a check I'm writing for all of this. And I mean, we've saved up for this for like two years now, at least a year. And it's just like, it's been a long time coming. with the sustain on this because i don't like how long those notes are sticking around um oh yeah like roof repairs especially around here where there's like inclement weather like Remember they can be so shady save. so like it's it's just frustrating and it's just like i just want this process done i want my friggin life back and you know when you're sick like when you have a cold or whatever and you're sick for like two days and your brain stops being from like, man, it sucks that I'm sick to being like, man, this is how I'm going to feel for literally the rest of my life. And it's just like, that's where I am right now where I'm just like, I'm going to be miserable for the rest of my life because I'm stuck in a basement all day. And I know that that's not going to be the case. Like they'll be done a little bit before Christmas and everything will be fine and I'll be able to get back to my life. But right now it's just like, my mental health is suffering <laughs> to put it mildly um and like it'll be fine and everything will be great and i knew this process would suck um and it did like no surprise there but i just like i didn't think it would be this bad And like we're getting something from IKEA. Like this is this is an IKEA um, kitchen that we're installing, and 
Like we were having some crazy supply chain issues with that. Um, because like a week after we bought the materials that we need, like stuff started going out of stock. Like we back ordered stuff and then like Ikea just decided to stop creating one of the things that we bought. So I had to like, once I realized this, which was well after I bought it, uh, because we bought all this stuff in like July, um, I had to like frantically call Ikea and be like, yo, you don't produce this anymore, but we're scheduled to have a bunch delivered. And it's like, is this actually going to happen? And like, it's just every step of the way in this process has been just so miserable. And hopefully at some point in the future, if I ever decide to do this again, I'll have the knowledge and tools to just do it myself. And I'll have, the, I'd have the time as well. That's the big problem. Like to just build the cabinets myself and be like, here you go. Rip out the old ones, put in the new ones. Hey, that looks way better. Because like building cabinets isn't hard. It's just time consuming. And it's expensive, yeah, but it's not any less expensive than going and having somebody build it for you. Or, like, like you can go to the box stores and just get something. Deep breaths. <laughs> Deep cleansing breaths, I'm sorry. It's like, this is the, this is the reason why I don't like working with other people. And I'm not saying that everybody is inconsistent like that. It's just that I have a very particular idea of what I want to happen and other people deviate from that or like they have schedules and lives and other things happen. And all of a sudden, like the project that I wanted to work with or work on is like super delayed. And it's just like, I just want to get it done so I can do other things. Um, and that's a very selfish take. Like, I get that. But I'm also just like, I just want, I just want this to be done so I can get on with my life. I don't know if, like, this is the, this is the big, like... Yeah, we need to we need to add something else here. And we also need to fix that uh, strobing sound because it's getting a little on my nerves. Um, and to be clear, I like working with other people. I think that collaborations are kind of the lifeblood for a lot of creative pursuits, but it's just like I just want things done. I just want them done and over with so I don't have to think about them anymore. And I'm being forced to think about them a lot and it's frustrating me. doing tiny yeah yeah and i mean to some degree the two-hour track challenge has really spoiled me on the fact that that quick iteration is something that i can do and like all i want to do is i just want to make stuff and put it out into the world and be done and like move on to the next thing and 
Like I knew this process, this kitchen process was going to take a long time. Like I get that, but it's just, I didn't know how frustrating it would be. I, I, I assumed incorrectly that, you know, you, you pay somebody and then they just take care of it for you. And I know now that that's not necessarily the case. Like you have to make sure that things are going the way that you expect them to. Um, and that was a little entitled of me to expect that to just work. Um, so I get that, like, and that sucks, but I get that, but I just, just kind of want it all done. <laughs> Sorry, I'm done complaining. Let's talk about let's talk talk about the song. Uh, I think this is kind of like the big. I feel like we can maybe mess with this chord a little bit. Not like that, though. Actually, no, I know exactly what we can do. It's the easiest thing in the world. Oops, no. Let's uh let's do it right. I mean, this is all very by the books when it comes to like how I have been writing music for the past couple of years, but I feel like taking the easy route today is is completely justifiable. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that's that's basically how we're going to end this. We'll just have this kind of big uh kind of climactic or crescendo and then we'll just uh kind of bounce back to what we were doing over here and uh we should be good like you you are right where it's just like this this could be like this big bombastic whatever but i think this works better just have it fade which I'm okay with you can 
have this grow. Can't forget all these automation lanes. That's like, that's so easy to forget. Keep it together, computer. Okay, we're done. Um, I know we've got like 25 minutes left, but I need to assess what's happening in the in the uh, the bathroom, and and figure out other things that are going on because. Uh, and I like this song. Like I think this song's cool. We'll we'll listen through it, um, and we'll move on with our lives. I like how it came out though. This is this is like I'm genuinely happy with this one. I apologize for it being a little bit a truncated. Okay, well, first of all, I guess we're going to have to um, freeze some of these lanes if we want to actually listen to it. Um, I am genuinely happy with how it came out. I think that it's I think that it's a, a really cool song, and it's it's well worth being a part of the uh, two-hour track challenge pantheon. Um, this is going to take longer to render than it is to listen, isn't it? <laughs> um, but I also uh, am just, there's a lot going on today. Okay. There's a lot going on today, and I just, mm. oh, yeah, I've been recording this whole time too. I, I want people to stick around if they want, because I do want to listen to this song in full and I have to do some like the mixing and mastering and stuff. But I think, um, I think we're good when it comes to like, like how it sounds, which is nice, like structurally and all that other stuff. Yeah. Croy. Yeah. We're, we all chill in here. I'll see if this is enough to stop the cracklies. Otherwise, um, I can freeze another channel too. Clearly not. Well, let's do this real quick while we have it all. Okay, what's taking up all the CPU now? Remember to save. Shocker. Hey everybody, remember to save. So the plan for the rest of this year, I can talk about that real quick. So I am hoping to do another stream tomorrow or Monday. Um, I need to finish cutting up the two hour track challenge songs so i can get samples from songs 201 to 299 this is song 299 or 298 no this is song 299 uh or stream 299 episode 299 uh, next week is episode 300 um which as tradition dictates i have to make a song based off of only samples collected from other songs that i've made in the two hour track challenge um and then 301 which is december 30 or 29th um that's the end of the season so that is a um this is a dealer's choice when it comes to uh this audience participation so yeah okay let's listen to the song actually let's save this song and then listen to it clearly my computer is just unable to handle anything anymore I need a new computer. <laughs> That's going to be my next big purchase in 2022.
I need to, I took my headphones off because I need to listen to this because this bass might be overpowering. I might have too many basses going on here, but I need a sub bass. No, I should be fine. It's still like... It's not complicated, but it doesn't have to be. This needs to get, um... That's better. That's why it always sounded the same. Because it was! This could be more dynamic too. I want to test something. Well, it helps if I do it right. Because I think... Technically, I still have time left, so it's not cheating. if you're getting some echo on the microphone. I'm trying to avoid that, but it's kind of unavoidable. better okay yeah we're good anyway guys thanks so much for hanging out today i really do appreciate it i'm glad and this this is like something that i'm genuinely glad about where i can um like i was saying before like i feel like i sit like if i spend so much time away and i i feel like i'm just like oh this is my life for the like forever and i feel like when i get back to making music that I won't be able to. And clearly that's not the case. Like, yeah, today was a little rough around the edges, but we still had some cool ideas. We implemented things in a neat way, like that whole multi-band dynamics thing. Like I was able to catch that as I was listening to it. That was, that was like super important for me. Like I felt real nice being able to catch that. And like, 
I know that once I get back to it, I will get back to it and things will be fine. But like, I hate that feeling where it's just like, this is going to be how it is for the rest of my life. And like, everything's going to be terrible forever. And it's just like, no, that's not, that's not how it's going to be. It's just like, that's how I think it is right now. And it'll be fine. I just like, it sucks. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm really glad like this in, in the very least, this reinforces the fact that once all of this renovation and stuff is over, like I'll be able to get back to where I was in November because November was a hell of a month. And I really like October and November were both really great months for me. And I really want to get back to that, like headspace and that, like that, that place. And I just like, I'm struggling right now for very obvious reasons. And I want things to get back to where they were. So they will. It just takes time. But yeah, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. It, it does genuinely mean a lot. Like I can do this in a vacuum. It's just like, I wouldn't want to. I think this is a good loop point. more like right here. Actually, it might be better like with this. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to get going. I'm going to get all this processed and, and pooped out to... Uh, pooped out to YouTube and everything just so I don't um, lose any more time. And then I'm going to try to figure out, yeah, I like that arpeggio a lot. I'm glad that that came together and I'm going to try to figure out what's going on with the bathroom. And I think the, the guy is set to show up a little bit later because the paint should be dry by now. And yeah, so the chaos continues, but I'm really glad that we were able to spend some time together. I might be streaming tomorrow morning. Um, I'm not fully sure yet. Like I say, I said, I have to chop up another 60 samples or something. Um, so I might be streaming tomorrow morning. Um, otherwise it'll be like Monday evening. Um, and I'm hoping that I can get back onto my normal schedule where Wednesday afternoons, um, will be, uh, where it's at. So my streaming schedule is going to be hecked up for another week plus, um, but January in the very least should get back to normal and then we can roll on from there. So that's all I've got guys. Again, thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Um, and I will talk to you later. Take care. There might be some, uh, bleed out from the rent whenever the render's done there might be a blast of sound so uh, watch out for that <laughs> that's what i get for rendering something uh while trying to leave efficiency right okay i guess not all right see you guys later